Greetings. How's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay, I'm going to show y'all what I got. One thing that I got for my daughter she's expecting. And she say November 1st. I say Halloween. So she's going to have a little spooky baby. Anyway, I got three of my grandkids they're expecting. So... I just want to show you this one thing I already got for my daughter and for my granddaughter. She's expecting my, it'll be my great grandchild. And it's supposed to be a day after my birthday, but she's going to have that baby on my birthday in July. So she's ready to pop. Okay. In her diaper, I mean in her baby registry, she had that she wanted a diaper genie, so I did research on it, and I reviewed all the diaper pail thingies. And they all say that after a while, the plastic starts to smell. So I wasn't going to get that. And, um, and I reviewed some of the other popular diaper pails for... You know, he's putting your diaper pail systems, whatever you call it, dis discarding systems. Well, they said the plastic smells, it don't trap the odors like it should. I mean, back in my day, there wasn't no diaper pails like that, unless you use cloth diapers. And then I had diaper service, and the truck would bring me nice fluffy white diapers, and they gave me a free diaper pail. Put them diapers in there and go to put another one in there. Lord, you lift that lid, even though it had a deodorizer. That ammonia would knock you out. So I didn't have none of this fancy stuff. Anyway, I did my research. And I said if all these uh, newfangled diaper genie thingamajigs, they still going to have the room smelling, then what's the point? You know, with my last child that was in diapers, we used to get the bags they would put meat in at the grocery store, the white bags, put them back, put them nasty diapers in the bag. And in the wintertime, we'd set them outside. One time somebody stole that bag. I guess they thought they were stealing a bag of meat. <laughs> I know there was some shocked Oscars when they got home and opened it. One of them to come back and bust all my windows. <clears throat> okay, well anyway, let's get back on topic. <clears throat> I did my research on the diaper thingamajigs. I said if the ones for babies don't really work or do the job, then what do incontinent people do? What do they use for old folks? Okay, because some old folks wear diapers. I found something called the Jenny Bell Acord Slim. Look at that. I did my research on this. This is how it looks. It looks like the things for nurseries. I said, and I, I uh, read the reviews, and this thing supposedly works. It traps all odors. And I like what I read, so I got two of them. One for my daughter, one for my granddaughter that's ready to pop any minute now. So let me show you the thing itself. I opened the one that's for my daughter. Come packaged up nicely. <clears throat> the whole thing was actually in a big brown box. This was in the box, and they had taped over any mention of what was inside the box. I guess some folks are embarrassed to buy stuff like this. They don't want everybody knowing what they got. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> this was inside that other box. It was in plastic. 
it comes ready to use. And I like the fact that you don't actually have to touch the lid. It has a foot pedal. This foot pedal. Okay, see it open. Opens the lid. I'm going to show y'all how it traps the odors. You can uh, use your hand to open the lid too if you want to, but why contaminate the lid? When you're changing your baby. Okay, got this little. Trying to open this. Oh. Okay. When it's upright and you change the baby's diaper, there's a second trap door in here. So that traps the odors. So when you open this lid, you're not going to smell nothing because of this second trap door. And the diaper will open that. It comes with bag already in here. Let me show you how it, it looks inside. Comes with a scented bag. It's like a tube, like a plastic tube. It has a well, I'm not gonna use up her stuff and it's scented. It smells like baby powder. And you can choose to buy these. I've already bought her some. I'm not going to open it. So it's actually two rows of these in here. And it should hold, I don't know how many diapers. I'll put the instructions. And if you don't want to be buying their stuff, their liners, I've already checked, yeah. He use a 13 gallon kitchen bag. It will fit and it can be attached. So I bought the first set <clears throat> of, <clears throat> excuse me, I bought the first set of liner refills for both of them. <clears throat> And then they can buy these 13 gallon trash bags to put up in here and affix it so they ain't got to keep buying the liners. Plus, the trash bags are much cheaper. So, these will fit. So, <clears throat> it's called Janabelle Accord. And I hope it really works, but it does look nice enough for a nursery. In my opinion, it looks very nice. Let me turn it all around so you can see it. It's supposed to be ABS plastic, so it's not going to hold smells, supposedly. So. So I thought it was very nice. So that's my little short review of the Janabelle Accord odor free receptacle for diapers, any kind of diapers. <clears throat> and then when you don't need the use it at, to use it as a diaper pail anymore. When this second liner comes out some kind of way, it's, I don't know how yet, but I ain't tearing it up. So you can just use it as a regular trash can. I think it's nice.
And when you're actually changing these bags, the liners in here, this, this pulls down. And you can uh, pull it down. This is going to be filled with soiled diapers. And then you can bring it on over, this bag on over to here. And this has a razor. So you can put it through here and cut the end of the bag. Now your finger ain't going to go through there, so you're not going to cut yourself. But the bag will. So I like that about it. Built-in razor for cutting the end of the bag. You can just pull the new bag on down, tie the end of it, so it's ready for another load of nasty diapers. Okay. So now, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed rest of the day. Bye.